Hello and welcome to episode one of this Code War series. And as I promised in the last video, we're gonna be heading straight into a problem. And feel free to pause the video just to read through this. But to summarize, what it wants us to do is it to take in a string, any string, as you can see in the examples here, take away all of its, um, what's that, all of its exclamation marks, if it has any, and then add an exclamation mark at the very end of that string and return that. So you can read in the examples over here, like if there's high with three exclamation marks, it returns just high with just one at the end. If there's high with nothing, it returns high with one at the end, and so on and so forth. Um, so uh, just to explain a little bit about the Code Wars interface, we've got the problem on the left, or we can type in our code on the top right, so we can um, write our code here, and then we can uh, test run these, and, look, and these example tests will automatically run when you hit control S. So if I just write print um, hello here and press control S, it's gonna start running it. And of course it says I failed the test because this code is ridiculous. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. And by the way, I'm going to be doing Python 3, not Python 2, so just to remember to change that if you're doing the same as well. So personally, I don't really like to use this given um, IDE. I have my own IDE called Visual Studio Code. It is completely free, you can find it online. I would recommend it highly, but of course, if you have your own IDE of choice, uh, go for it. CMD is just my terminal of choice because CMD, which is the stock uh, one that uh, Windows gives you, just doesn't look as pretty, doesn't look as nice, so I like to use CMD. Also, CMD allows for you to have multiple tabs which I find really, really helpful. So at this point in the video, if you wanna go try the challenge out for yourself, uh, so where'd it go? If you wanna try this out for yourself uh, before watching the rest of the video, go for it. If you just wanna watch how I do it, uh, go for that as well. Really, it's your choice, it's your life. But let's get straight into it. So I like to do it in my own ID. So I'm just gonna type down the skeleton code. And I think this is what they gave us, def remove s. Yes, and then we gotta write in our code. So really we can break down this problem into two parts. The first part is, I'm just gonna write this down as well, remove uh, all the exclamation marks. And then part two is going to be add an exclamation mark to the end. And then actually three would just be to return that final string. So let's begin with part one. How do we go about removing all the exclamation marks? So something that you can actually do is, or something that you might think of doing is just creating a for loop. So for a letter and S, um, if the letter is, um, if the letter is equal to an exclamation mark, then find some way to remove the letter and so on and so forth. Uh, and then uh, go about your day. But the thing is, turns out in Python, there is a very beautiful function built in for a, a situation just like this. And what you can do is string dot replace. And replace takes in two arguments. Uh, the first argument is the thing that you wanna replace in the string. The second argument is the thing that you wanted to replace to. So let's just kind of return string, I mean, not restring, s. Let's return s at this point and see what we get. And as a test, I'm gonna just print out the result. Whoa. Print out the result of remove, uh, and I'll pass in hello world with some random exclamation marks thrown in there. There we go. And of course, by the way, just for proof, I am running Python 3.6, as you can see. So if I exit this, run python on 001 underscore exclamation dot pi. Okay, that did not actually work. I'm a bit surprised that that didn't work. Uh, remove ex... <laughs> I'm a bit stunned, guys. Give me one second. Oh, there's actually a very simple error that I've made here. I've done, I've performed this actual method on s but I haven't reassigned the outcome to S again. So now, if I run this, it should work as so. So that works quite beautifully. Uh, in fact, I'm actually just gonna add the return S to the very end, because that's the very last thing we wanna do in the program. So now we've removed all the exclamation marks. That works beautifully. 
uh, what we can do now is just add one exclam mark, exclamation mark to the very end and we're done. And that seems like a very simple task, right? Uh, so you might be thinking um, a string is basically a list. So what we can just do is s.append and add an exclamation mark. So, but what you'll find is that the stir object has no attribute append because append only works for lists specifically. In Python, a list and a string are two different data types. So we have to find some other way of doing so. Well, you might be thinking, huh, uh, what we could do in Python is string concatenation because Python supports string concatenation. And what I mean by that is if I open the Python shell over here, we can see if I have a, call it hello, B, call it an, just a space. C, call it world. In Python, we can do A uh, plus B plus C, and it's going to give us hello world as so. So we can literally just do S is equal to S plus an exclamation mark. And this should work. So if I exit and run the program again, there we go. But just I personally like to write this as plus equals, which means the same thing. S plus equals exclamation mark means S equals S plus exclamation mark. And then we're just returning S again, and we're printing, uh, and this is just our test case. And we can see, and we can see again, that it works. So let's just copy this entire code, open this up again, paste it into there, click control S, just to see what it says, and it's passed all the tests. Woohoo! And hopefully you guys have, if you've attempted it yourselves, you guys have tasked, passed all the tests as well. And let's submit this. And what's beautiful about Code Wars is that once you attempt a task or a kata, you can actually see how other people did it. So solutions. And you can see people, some people, in fact, what I've just done, where you've done, where you do the replace, and then you add the exclamation mark, that can be done in one line. And that's what this guy has done. You can also use the dot join and the dot split to make to turn the string into a list and then turn it back into a string, which is a smart way of doing it as well. So there's tons of different ways of doing this problem. So what I like about Code Wars is that once you do it, uh, once you perform, once you do a problem using your method, you can see how other people thought about this, and you can learn about all these different functions. Like if you didn't know what the join function did, or rather the join method did, you know what it does now and things like that. And some people have done some really cool stuff as so, and there's different ways of doing it. But guys, that has been episode one of this Code War series. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be coming with episode two very, very soon. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep coding.